Hi everyone, Kevin Martin, Chief Research Officer at I4CP, coming at you right now with five minutes or less, the recap from our May 8th COVID-19 CHRO response series call. Now the theme of that call was workforce well-being. Why? Because the previous week when we featured the Chief People Officer Donna Morris at Walmart and the Chief HR Officer Lisa Price at Domino's, the poll question we asked of the 150 plus senior HR leaders on that call was which of the following talent and HR practices do you feel will be altered most at your firms going forward as a result of this pandemic? The runaway answer at 58% was workforce well being. It was very serendipitous that the next guest that we featured just this past Friday is Rob, Rob Cross, professor at Babson College, founder of the Connected Commons, and most of you know him from his writings in Harvard Business Review on collaborative overload, uh, the research we've done with him on purposeful collaboration. He is the foremost expert on organizational network analysis, and you can see the screenshot below. Just today on May 13th, he wrote another article on HBR on do you have life outside of work? Now, we started out that meeting with a poll question to the 160 plus HR executives on last week's call that asked, which of these following practices are you championing in order to um, help your people at work claw back some of their time? And you can see that 70% are focused on making it safe for their people to raise a hand or raise concerns if they're feeling a sense of overload and that's very prevalent right now. The work-life blend is non-existent. Everything's ubiquitous anymore. And there is a tremendous amount of overload that people are feeling from the number of collaborations, or if it's not the number of collaborations, it's from the standpoint that they don't have break time from work. It goes work into family time, family time to work time. They're all blending together anymore. And so this is critically important. Now, another key aspect as to the expertise that Rob brought to last week's call was on the social and relational aspect of the workplace and its impact on overall workforce performance, overall company innovation. And in this case, we were talking about workforce well-being. And in fact, this is a slide from I4CP's research, which Rob Cross provided input into that we just published this week called Next Practices and Holistic well-being. What we found from that research is that high performance organizations are much more likely to take a very holistic approach, a whole person approach to workforce well-being. And you can see one of those elements, they are four times more likely to place a high degree of emphasis on social and relational well-being. In other words, their feeling of connectedness. So what Rob went through with this audience is he showed this, what we call the infinity loop model. This is a model from his research where he was showing that there are really six areas where the best executives, the best leaders will do things like imposing structure in their work. So that allows them to perform optimally, not suffer from collaborative overload, but what he was talking about is how performance and well-being really heighten through overall connectivity in the workplace and the sense of relationships. We've been seeing a lot in our, in our own research as well. And so that was a very extensive conversation, a lot of great chat uh, uh, commentary from the audience in which they were sharing practices and asking questions of Rob as well. Now, I'm excited about this Friday's call. Uh, we have our guest is CHRO Prudential, uh, Lucien Alziari. And uh, Lucien is so impressive to me. Um, I met him last fall um, at an Academy of HR gala. And I was just so impressed right away with the way Lucien thinks. And he is a business executive first, HR executive second, just like any top level CHRO. But Lucien also serves on a public company board. And so we're going to bring his perspective in when it comes to overall workforce well-being at Prudential, the return to workplace strategy that they've enacted, where they're at, and also some perspective that he's gleaned as being both a public company board member and a CHRO for a major company. So we look forward to having you on this week's call. And I, in the meantime, stay well and be healthy. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.